times where I think I'm okay and then like I'll see something like everywhere I go like I see something that reminds me of my girls and I kind of like lose it a little bit Venetia and Aaron met in seventh grade and started to date in 2008. Ava Williams was born September 14, 2011, and Elise Williams was born December 25, 2014. According to Venetia, Aaron was such a good father and the girls loved him. They adored him and he showed no displays of abuse towards the children. He was always very loving and caring which makes this story even worse because she never saw the tragedy coming. On New Year's Day 2021, Venetia and Aaron got into a serious argument. The argument turned so serious that Venetia was scared and ran to a neighbor for help after Aaron said some words that were kind of concerning. Somebody knocked on my door. She said that she thinks her boyfriend's coming after her. She doesn't have a jacket on or shoes or anything. Um, so we have her inside my house, but she's really afraid, like, we need police immediately. No, like, I'd rather just, like, go somewhere, like, to the shelter or something, like, oh. I understand, but officers are going to need to talk to both of you, so we, we need to know where he is as well. Especially if he's threatening to shoot you. If officers show up and he's got a gun, we don't want anything bad to happen. We need to understand where he is. Unfortunately, something bad did happen, not to Venetia, but to her daughters, Elise and Ava. After Venetia left the house, Aaron shot both of his daughters and then himself. Meanwhile, tonight, Columbus police are investigating a double murder-suicide. Two young girls killed by their father on New Year's Day. These are photos of six-year-old and nine-year-old Elise and Ava Williams. Uh, here you're looking. Police originally called to the scene of a domestic dispute on Muirwood Village Drive, then were sent to a home on Danwood Drive where they heard several, several gunshots. Once inside, police say they found two girls with gunshot wounds and the suspect, 32-year-old Aaron Williams, suffering from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The suspect, the father of the two girls, died at the scene. The two children were rushed to Doctors West, where they were later pronounced. After the deaths of her daughters, Venetia was obviously devastated. She did not immediately speak out to the public due to the overwhelming sadness. Eventually, she was able to talk to the press and described her daughters and what they like and how they lived. She also talked about Aaron and how wonderful he was with the girls and how much the girls loved him. It's where I think I'm okay. And then, like, I'll see something, like, everywhere I go, like, I see something that reminds me of my girls and I kind of, like, lose it a little bit. Girls, they were funny. They were sassy. Um... They just radiated such brilliant light. They loved fashion, games. Venetia was teaching Ava how to sew. Elise was really into makeup. Their mother says they were loved by every single person that met them. I always held them and hugged them and cuddled them and told them I loved them multiple times a day. They were daddy's girls. <laughs> they loved, like, their father was, like, one of our most favorite people. Venetia says her boyfriend, Aaron, who was the father of both of the girls, was a devoted father and would do absolutely anything for them. However, she says the two of them did have their relationship problems in the past. But through all of that, anything ever happening to the girls never, ever crossed my mind. The night of the shooting, she says they got into an argument. Words were exchanged. She says threats were made, but not towards the girls. Venetia left the home around 1130 Friday night. And I'm calling his phone. No answer. I'm calling she tried FaceTiming Elise's iPad. No answer. She says she had a missed call from Aaron around 1101. Venetia and her cousin rushed to the home to find flashing lights. Um, I go up to the caution tape and the officer, I'm like, what's going on? And she's like, are you mom? And she's like, you gotta go to the hospital. She was told what happened, then tried to hold on to hope. But I just remember the doctor saying that they were dead. <laughs> she says now she keeps going back and forth on what she could have done differently 
to prevent this. I wish that I would have ran to my babies and wrapped my arms around them so they knew that their mommy was there to love and protect them. Reporting in Columbus, Stephanie Stanovich, 10 TV News. This story is just so heartbreaking. I can't even imagine what Venetia is going through. I wonder if she has guilt about leaving them in the home. During researching of this story, I found that a lot of people were blaming her. And I feel like it's quite unfair. We don't know what the argument was about. We don't know what was said during the argument, but I'm pretty sure Venetia did not think that her boyfriend of all these years was ever going to harm her children. Unfortunately, with the death of Aaron, all the questions that the family may have will go unanswered. No one will ever know what made him hurt his children that night. As always, we are praying for the family and may Ava and Elise rest in peace.